At the time of this video, BM, better known as Bolliger and Mabillard, have built 18 different wing coasters. And for years now, Florida has always been a state that has been rumored to be building a wing coaster at one of their amazing theme parks. But the big question is, what park will build the first wing coaster in Florida? Would it be SeaWorld Orlando or Busch Gardens Tampa? What about Legoland Florida? And for a wild card, could we see Universal Orlando build the first wing coaster in Florida? My name is Brandon and welcome to Keep Riding Coasters, formerly Theme Park Predictions. I'm really glad you're here and this topic is definitely very interesting because I'm going to share with you what park I think will build the first B&M wing coaster in Florida as well as why it makes sense for that park, how large will it be, and then later in the video I'm going to share with you the odds of each park getting a B&M wing coaster. Starting things off, Let's take a look at Legoland Florida, and while you might think I'm crazy for even having the words come out of my mouth that a B&M wing coaster could be coming to Legoland Florida, but honestly it could very well happen and happen soon. And here is why it makes sense. Legoland out in Germany this past year opened up the very first extreme coaster, at least classified as extreme, at a Legoland park. And according to RCDB, better known as Roller Coaster Database, there are currently 12 Legoland theme parks all across the world. But yet, none of them offer an extreme coaster in their lineups. But this coaster right here is called Maximus, and this B&M wing coaster, while it's not very large, it looks a lot of fun, and it's crazy to think that not only a B&M wing coaster is at a Legoland park, but this ride actually features two inversions, topping out at a height of 55 feet, with the trains reaching a top speed of 33.6 miles an hour. This 1,500 foot long coaster really does fit really nicely in the park, I might say. And we know that Merlin Entertainment loves working with B&M, and if this coaster pays off over in Germany, then Legoland Florida has a very unique opportunity to build Florida's first wing coaster. Now I guarantee you this, no one ever saw that coming, including myself. But here's where things get even more interesting. Just this past year, Legoland Florida decided to remove their flying school Vacoma family inverted coaster. Now why would they do this? Because this area is rather large, especially with the land behind it as you see here. So I'm very curious to see what Legoland Florida does decide to do in this area. And if Legoland Florida would ever build a B&M wing coaster, then I think it definitely makes sense for it to be about the same size as Maximus over in Germany. Heading west on I-4 to Busch Gardens, Tampa. Now, rumors about this park building a massive B&M wing coaster have been around for quite some time, and I really feel like this type of coaster would really make sense for Busch Gardens, Tampa for a lot of reasons. Uh, number one, the space. These type of coasters, I mean the really large ones, you really need a big footprint because the train's like, what, 14 feet wide, if not even longer? So the wingspan of the train, plus all the supports in the track, you really need a lot of space to be able to fit one of these major coasters into a park. And we all know that Busch Gardens Tampa has a ton of space to work with, and I'm honestly shocked that Busch Gardens Tampa does not have a B&M wing coaster yet. I mean, just think about all the cool types of animals that they could theme this style of ride off of. It really does make a ton of sense. And as far as how large this coaster could be, there are two options for Busch Gardens Tampa to consider. One, the traditional lift hill style wing coaster, or the B&M launched wing coaster style like Thunderbird. And while there is a third style of wing coaster out there, like the one we just saw open up at Chessington Worlds of Adventure when they opened their Jimaji themed coaster this year. And this ride really does look interesting because you have a spike as well as it travels forwards and reverse, and you have an inline twist in the middle of all of that. But something tells me that if Tampa would ever get a B&M wing coaster, that it would be rather large and feature a mid-course brake run for capacity concerns. So I would say if they would get one, you're looking at 175 feet up to 215 feet tall. Busch Gardens Tampa has the opportunity to build the world's largest wing coaster. And that right there sounds really good when it comes to marketing. 
Now heading up I-4 to SeaWorld Orlando, and again, just like Busch Gardens, there's a lot of really cool animals or themes that SeaWorld Orlando could build with this style of ride. And before Pipeline was built, rumor on the street was we we're about to see a brand new B&M wing coaster that ran along the entrance as well as over the entrance and onto the other side, as you can see here. Now, I don't know about you, but I for one would much rather have this than Pipeline personally, just because rumor was SeaWorld Orlando was going to build a whole new front gate at the same time as this was going to get built. And honestly, let's face it, SeaWorld Orlando's front gate is pretty horrible and is a giant cluster. And while I do not see SeaWorld Orlando being able to build as large of a wing coaster due to the amount of space that they need for that size of a ride, SeaWorld Orlando really has to be careful as far as how big of a ride they can build and where they can build it because the park does not have as much free room. But nonetheless, I really think a B&M wing coaster would still really make a lot of sense for SeaWorld Orlando because the park would add yet another high capacity coaster and one that features a roller over drop plus the main focus would be on inversions and now let's talk about the wild card universal orlando earlier this year i created this video here sharing my thoughts on what could replace the lost continent at islands of adventure and i think it's a very good chance that we could see a zelda themed land open up at the park and replace of my favorite area unfortunately but in this video i share with you just how it's possible to fit a massive brand new bnm launched wing coaster in this area i highly highly recommend after you're done watching this video to check that one out because I guarantee you this the next time you walk to the lost continent you are going to think about how a brand new B&M wing coaster could fit into that area because it really does make a lot of sense now before I share with you the likelihood of each of these parks building a brand new B&M wing coaster if you're enjoying this video then all I ask that you do is please give it a like that is by far the best way you can help support the channel and I really do greatly appreciate each one also be sure to check out keepridingcoasters.com for some really cool comfortable coaster gear now I'm going to rank these parks from least likely to most likely and with a 10% chance of opening Florida's first being in wing coaster and it's going to go to universal orlando there's a lot of different types of rides or coasters that could go into islands of adventure in this lost continent area of the park and while i really feel like a being in wing coaster would make a ton of sense universal could surprise us all with something else entirely different and with a 20 percent chance sea road orlando Again, I feel like this park is really oversaturated with like B&M coasters because they have so many and I would personally like their next coaster once Penguin Trek opens to come from a different manufacturer than B&M. However, I do feel as if it's still possible for SeaWorld Orlando to build Florida's first wing coaster. And with a 30% chance of happening, Busch Gardens Tampa. I really like this fit and this park again has a ton of room to work with. So I feel like down the road, this park could benefit from another inversion focused coaster, but one that's a lot more graceful than Montu and Kumba, since those two epic coasters are more intense. So I think like something like Gatekeeper would do really well for the general public and the park and that leaves a 40 percent chance of happening yes i firmly predict that lego land florida could very well be the first park to open up a bnm wing coaster and i think it could get announced over the next six months and out of the three different types of wing coasters that could get built here, a lift hill, a launch, or the shuttle, I could very well see a shuttle coaster added, again, just like the one over at Chessington. Something like this would do really well for Florida, as well as Legoland, and this park desperately deserves a brand new major coaster. So with all that said, those are my thoughts on which park in Florida could build the first wing coaster. And now that you know my predictions, what are yours? Which park, if one would ever get one, would build a B&M wing coaster first? Please let me know in the comments. And with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.